I'm gonna address first the, how my body of work relates to American culture because as, a, as we see in contemporary art, there is a lot of uh, identity politics uh, put into, into, the, into galleries and museums. I think, um, and you know, it's really great. It's really great that people talk about their, their, their selves and, and their politics and their way of living. Uh, to me, it's like after living 15 years in the States and addressing a lot of my personal issues, uh, it gets to the point where like, I don't think identity politics should be an arrival point where you make work about who you are. I think, uh, to me, identity is a departure point. It's like, I make work about the way I think about the world. You know, me as a Chilean artist, or as a Chilean person, or as a Latino, I try to address the way I see the problems around me uh, with the Chilean mentality. I, I can't escape that. I just can't avoid the way I was raised, the, the, my, the way I went to school, the, the information I got. So, to me, talking about uh, American art or American politics, in every show is a way to think about what do I think. It's not like a research-based practice. It's not a, it's not a objective truth that I'm trying to pursue. It's mostly about like, what is my take? How is, what is my personal understanding of history? It may be so wrong, but I'd rather see a wrong a wrong show that has personality than this mysterious objective truth that show up from an institutional level. So you know, constructing things out of desire is really interesting because in the same way I was talking to you about the working in the studio, there is an inner desire to build stuff, to make stuff, to destroy stuff. So, and a lot of the time you don't get to fulfill all those dreams and, and I think as a, the, the idea of the landscape comes from uh, this placemaker or this like placeholder for the desire as an immigrant to like move to a place, right? It's like the desert is the most, it's the minimum common denominator for you understanding a space of possibilities. Some people think about it as for New York or Berlin, uh, to me, I think the desert is this place where, like, you could make a house there, but also, and like, no one would bother you. You could be happy, right? But then there is something about the, the desert is alone for a reason. It's like also kick you out. So the same desires that make you want to be there is probably the same desires that want to make you leave it. So I like the desert as a place of like that dichotomy where like both feelings can be present: the present of being there and not wanted to live there at the same time. Uh, another level is like, to me as an immigrant, I think about the spaces as uh, possibilities, but a lot of the times you don't know them. You just, you know, you saw them in movies, you write about them, you have like a couple of people that you know, or there's a couple of writers, artists, people that you admire, that they were coming from that place. But in general, you don't know how it's like, How's your neighbor? You don't know how is the convenience store in the corner. You know, so you, there's so many unknowns about relocation and that uh, you don't figure out until you move there. And by the time you move there, it's a lot of work to live in a place, to make yourself part of the community. And that is one of the reasons why the landscapes are made out of photocopies. To me, photocopy is the material of bureaucracy, the material that you, make, you, you use to become present in a place. So if you, whenever you move to a place or whenever you relocate to a country, mostly as an immigrant, you have to like do so much paperwork. You know, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what people mean when they say about politics because, you know, you like, I feel if you, if you have health insurance, if you are paying college tuition, if you are paying a college student loans, if you are doing anything that relates to being alive, you are like part of the politics. You know, if you vote, like you're an active member of society. So I think like, like as long as you are concerned about yourself and you worry about like the way that the world like 
guide you to be a member of society, the world wanna look political or wanna feel political. But and that is something that is the connection between these very different works. Well, like you, you, you can read so much politics into the landscape you use versus the politics that guide the work of uh, American type. American type is a much more political work, but the very fact that it's super abstract and the fact that like abstraction in 1960 was a political tool, you know, so something that doesn't have the politics inside the work. It is, a, it is a gesture that the institutions needed, and the institutions are inherently political. So, so yeah, that all the work is political because I'm, I'm just concerned with the way that I want to live. And I think all that thing is affected by politics. Bueno, yo creo que siempre la pregunta que me he hecho es si, si o sea, realmente estoy en, estoy equivocada, o sea, de, no tengo derecho a sentirme como me siento o a pensar como pienso o a actuar como actúo. Se supone que yo tengo que seguir al clan y complacer complacer al, al resto de la familia. ¿Y cuáles han sido tus respuestas? Mm. Aborrezco, aborrezco la situación y me aborrezco a mí misma por la forma en que me hace sentir. ¿Cómo puede ser posible? No es justo. ¿Por qué? Well, in my video work is very all the video work that you can see that is available, it's very, it's all, they have a very clear thread between them. You know, a lot of the time I try to address issues of uh, minorities in the public life, mostly, um, you know, the past show I have here two years ago, I show Maria TV, which is a, was a video about maids uh, acting like the maids that you see on TV. So it's real, I hire real maids to perform like the maids that you see, uh, or domestic workers that you see on TV, in order to address the way that uh, working class women being abandoned from the narrative of pop culture. In this case, um, in the Triari, the movie I'm showing here now, is a short video piece that is an essay that has my voice as a, um, as a character, where I'm trying to address the role of minorities on movies and film uh, where an affirmative action and a lot of politics that were um, related to incorporating brown and black and Asian bodies in the in the in the in the public realm. So the video is a sort of a stream of consciousness production where I talk about uh, diversity and presence in in the in the mainstream in mainstream media. And and it's very simple, but also it's very fast, and it's hard to follow. But if you, spend, if you watch it a lot of times, you um, follow the stream of consciousness and the poetic language that I use.